what's going on everybody so this is a bike i received all torn down it was a parts bike well that's what i bought it for it's a uh, shadow 750 so this is a honda shadow 750 we actually have the shadow 750 sitting right here so this is the engine all together and this is what you would get if you tore it down most of us should not see our engine like this <sighs> most of us like this guy might tear him down for some reason i don't know why and uh this is as far as he got he never got it put back together and then eventually he died so uh this is unfortunate but it's given me parts for that bike which i actually haven't used any but here it is so figured while we're at it I'm going to list these parts on eBay, but let's get a good look at it. So we start at the top. We have your valve cover, valve cover lid, valve cover itself. And then this is the, uh, I guess the cam tensioning cover, cam tensioner cover. So that goes on there. So that goes on the edge. So it's a two part valve cover. And, uh, <clears throat> If you look here under this this is hot it's been sitting out in the sun drying I have your rocker arms here so was it two for intake one for exhaust uh, yeah this is the intake because there's your carburetor and then exhaust is off support down there so exhaust valve there this is a, a hydraulic adjusted valve setup so you never have to adjust these valves as you can see, there's no way to adjust them. Your cam tensioner is over here. This is actually a cam chain. And I fell out of one of these guys. So I think these are check valves. That's kind of what I gathered from looking at the parts diagram. So I just took these out and didn't realize they would fall out. But they fit down in these holes. So these should be... I think check valves for the the rocker arms and the uh, valve adjusters everything's very hot so there's a little bit of water down there didn't actually do what I wanted to do and dry out anyway I think those are check valves I don't want to make this video too long but thought you might enjoy seeing what we got here it's been really hard I they have different part numbers, but it was hard for me to tell which one of these and which one of the valve, the cylinder. So this is a two part system. Your cylinders here, and then this is your valve cylinder and your head. So this is your head where your valve sit. And then this is your cylinder. Actually, show you quick, there's your cylinder. Down in there are your valves, they would open. So two intake and exhaust. And here's your cam, cam setup. But it's really hard to tell which one's front and which one's back. I think I figured out this is B, this is the back valve. And it was really hard to figure out. I just basically could tell by looking at my other bike. It's also hard to tell, yeah, like I said, which one is your valve cover they just seem like they're exactly the same here's your check valves again this one's different i'm not sure why it's kind of cut in on the top um the rest are all kind of just topped off they don't have that little indent around the end so i don't know where that goes didn't realize it was different when i took them out and then again you have your cam cover and uh, you really don't have to do a lot of maintenance on these Honda Shadow engines. But again, so this, this should be the front cylinder from what I've gathered. And like I said, I only really could tell by which one has the bolts and which side this cam tensioner is mounted. As you can see here, the back one has the bolts mounting the cam tensioner and the front does not on 
see like right there there's just so I think they probably <clears throat> I think they're probably the same that's the only real real difference you can basically spin them around and they look exactly the same either way so there's your exhaust where your <clears throat> where your exhaust header would fit and again here is your front cylinder you can see down in there okay and then onto the engine so those both sit down on top of here the valve cover and the valve cover top or lid those are two parts too so here's your valve or here's your rockers and they keep tension on your valves and then flip them over and I don't know why there's JB weld on the top of this lid but this valve cover lid there you go so that's all one piece and then this guy actually bolts on top of there so that sits on there everything bolts down <clears throat> here are your pistons so your front is gonna sit on here that's your front piston and this is your engine casing it splits horizontally I just have them setting together there is the rotor for the alternator and then right there is where your slave cylinder for your clutch goes through the engine still have an oil filter on here that's where your drive shaft hooked up to the engine so the transmission is back there <clears throat> there's your back cylinder we go to this side I guess uh, somewhere about here is where your clutch is gonna sit clutch pack is going to be all mounted in there here's your main shaft and then you got your electrical things here so pulse generator I guess is all that I'm just guessing you know I'm not an engine guy someday I might be but for now I kind of stay away from them this is all torn down, so I figured we'd take a look at it. There's half your casing. Here's how your pistons are mounted. And they're gonna run up and down when this is turned. These are piston rings. See, they're very, very light metal. These aren't in the best of shape. And there's the inside of the engine. That's gonna be all full with oil. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's something to be, I guess that's the drive shaft. Power goes from here and then transfers to here, I guess. And then turns and splits out the back. So yeah, just figured it'd be fun to look at all this. I'm gonna list these parts on eBay. If you need anything, even Yamaha. Go ahead and hit me up but i just thought it'd be fun to see the inside of an engine because most of us see it this way and it just so happens here it is all torn down so guys i'll see you in the next one have a great day get out and ride or put your engine back together catch you later